going on everybody welcome back to retro aviation hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today we have the september 2023 great plains international airport update for you guys i really hope you guys are excited for today's video today we have a very exciting great plains update in store for you guys we got some various aircraft changes multiple movements and all kinds of fun items that i'm into in today's airport update i really hope you guys are excited for this without any further delay let's go ahead and get started Currently getting ready to take off right here on runway 34. We have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Illinois 1 livery. This aircraft's heading over to Omaha, Nebraska after coming in earlier today from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Next up, we have this American Airlines Boeing 737-800. This aircraft's currently heading up to the Charlotte Doubles International Airport after coming in earlier today from Portland. Here's the United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the Continental Airlines Retro livery coming in from Fort Myers and now is going to be heading over today to Denver. And then we have the Delta Airlines Boeing 757-300. This aircraft's gonna make it a non-stop service today, heading over to Las Vegas and came in earlier today from Atlanta. And on the top of your screen, we have a fellow 757-300 for United right there. This aircraft's currently coming in from Los Angeles and now it's gonna be heading over to Newark today. This Delta Airlines Airbus A321 with Sharklets is currently making a non-stop service today, coming in from Boston and now it's gonna be heading over to um, Houston. And this American Airlines Airbus A319 is currently coming in right now from Las Vegas and now it's going to be making a non-stop service today heading over to Philadelphia. This American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Astrojet livery is currently coming in right now coming in from Dallas and now it's going to be making a service today over to Houston. And this United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER is currently making a service coming in from Washington Dulles and now it's going to be making a service back out to DCA ironically enough. Taxiing out for departure, we have the Delta Airlines Airbus E321 Neo. This aircraft is currently heading over to New York John F. Kennedy after coming in from San Francisco. And here is the Delta Airlines Airbus E319 100. This aircraft is currently heading out right now, heading over to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and came in earlier today from Detroit. The Alaska Boeing 737 Max 9 is currently coming in from Skyly's Airport and now heading over to FX Aviation's Airport. And ironically enough, we can pair that beautifully for our subscriber routes on the United Airlines Boeing 777 300ER, doing the exact same as the Alaska Max 9. This United Airlines Airbus E219-100 is rolling down runway 34 right now. This aircraft sent over to Chicago O'Hare and came in earlier today after a service from, um, uh, let's see here, um, Newark. And then American Airlines Airbus E321 with Shark Clips is currently coming in right now from Austin and now is going to have a continuing service today over to Mexico City. Okay, with all of those down, let's go ahead and do the Terminal B, and then we'll proceed in the Terminal A. Not really the, but just kind of how it came out, so apologies there, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm gonna try to do it from this side, but it's kind of challenging sometimes. Okay, the United Express Ember Air Data 170 is coming in from New Orleans, and now it's gonna make the service over to Cleveland. And the CRJ-550 is coming in right now on a new route from Houston Hobby, a very interesting one for them, and now it's gonna be heading over to Grand Rapids. This CRJ-700 is coming in from Aspen, Colorado, new route, love to see it. And now it's going to be making a non-stop service today, heading over to, uh, let's send this guy to Milwaukee. In December, your day is 175 for SkyWest is currently coming in right now from Tulsa. And now it's going to be making a service today over to, um, let's go with uh, Pensacola for him. And this commuter, Ember EarJ-145, is currently coming in right now from Wichita, and now it's going to be heading over to Appleton. This United Airlines Boeing 737-700 is currently making a non-stop flight today coming in from Miami and now it's going to be heading over to Washington Dulles. And this 737-800 is coming in from Skyly's Airport and now it's going to be heading back out there. The Delta Airlines 757-300 currently taxiing in right here is coming in uh, from, let's see here, this aircraft's coming in from Baltimore and now it's going to be, I know they don't fly to Baltimore, just having some fun with it. Now heading over to Denver. It is a fictional airport after all. And this United Airlines Boeing 757-200 is the jet would just collapsed. Uh, this aircraft's currently making a non-stop flight today coming in from Las Vegas and now it's going to be heading over to Houston. The United Airlines Boeing 77-9 is currently coming in from, uh, let's see here, San Francisco on a turnaround. And this American Airlines Boeing 77-8 is currently coming in from Madrid and now it's going to be making service over to FX Aviation Airport. I know he doesn't have that iteration so I apologize. I'll send him a double subscriber out uh, when we get to his aircraft. The United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER is currently coming in right now from Atlanta and now it's going to be making a service today over to Indianapolis, a really cool route. And the MAX 9 right here is currently making a non-stop service today heading over to Syracuse, New York, really getting some changes here as you can see today. And now it's going to have a service today heading over to Pittsburgh. This Boeing 757-200 for United, sorry, my headphone keeps getting stuck on everything and about, I uh, made a model fall on the floor today, just uh, stupid headphone wire. 
Uh, United 757-200 coming in for Chicago O'Hare, and now it's going to be heading over to Tampa. Uh, her art here, California, by the way, and then the Mesa Sierra D-900 has just rolled into the gate, coming in from Grand Rapids, now heading over to Traverse City. Last month, the Traverse City, that'll be coming back next season, but not, um, obviously, that season's uh, for the summer. It's pretty much wrapping up in this update. The United Express Ember Ear J-175 is currently coming in from, uh, let's see here, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, now heading over to Little Rock. In this Boeing 737 MAX 8 is coming in from Houston, and now it's going to be heading over to New York, Guardia. Uh, this Airbus E319 is coming in from Houston, and now it's going to be heading over to Orlando. Sorry about the camera. I'm trying to get all the routes, but then can't see what we're doing with the camera. And the Airbus E320 is currently coming in right now from Denver, and now it's going to be heading over to San Diego. And the 737-700 is currently coming in from Fort Myers, now heading over to, or I'm sorry, coming in from that one creator's airport of Fort Myers, and now it's going to be heading over to uh, Washington Roosevelt for Newark Aviation. Delta Airlines, Airbus E320, currently coming in from Atlanta, now it's going to be heading over to Minneapolis-St. Paul. And the Delta Airlines 717-200 coming in from Chicago O'Hare, now heading over to Charlotte. A uh, nice conga line there of Delta Mainline, we have an Airbus E321 in the thank you livery, currently coming in from... Um, excuse me, coming in from Minneapolis, now heading over to Los Angeles. Another 757-200 over to Los Angeles, and now it's going to be heading over to Raleigh-Durham. And the Airbus each 2100 currently coming in from Boston, and now it's going to be heading over to Houston. Okay. Delta Airlines 767-300ER is currently coming in from Atlanta as well, and now it's heading over to San Francisco. The Ember Ear-170 filling in for SkyWest 175 just because it's a meme. Uh, it's currently making a service today coming in from, let's see here, this aircraft's coming in from Toronto, and now it's gonna be heading over to, uh, let's see here, Phoenix, or I'm sorry, sorry, wrong airport. I was thinking of, um, what air, uh, air, sorry, let me get the camera straight. Okay, uh, Columbus. And this 757-200, November 703 Tango Whiskey is coming in from John F. Kennedy on turnaround. Delta Airlines 737-800. There we go. Uh, this aircraft's currently pushed back service over to Los Angeles, came in from Palm Springs, new route for Delta. That's what we love to see. And the Team USA Delta Airbus E3900 Neo is currently coming in right now from Seoul and will be heading back out there. American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER, the start the lineup uh, over here. This aircraft's currently heading over to London and came in from there uh, earlier today. And we have both One Worlds here. I thought this would be really cool to do with both iterations. So on the left, you have the NG Models One World Boeing 777-200ER. Aircraft's currently coming in right now from Chicago O'Hare, and now it's heading over to um, Amsterdam. And the one on the right is currently coming in right now from uh, Paris, and now it's gonna be making a non-stop service today, heading over on a new service to Shanghai. How about that? Very cool service. Uh, the American Eagle Sierra D-900 is currently operating for PSA, coming in from Reno. Now it's gonna be heading over right now to Jacksonville. And let me see if I can get out of the shade. There we go. The American Airlines 77-8 is heading over to FX Aviation's airport to get the proper aircraft and came in earlier today from, uh, let's see, Dallas-Fort Worth. Okay, let me see if I can hopefully get a good lineup. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Sorry. I feel like there's plenty of room, but still not enough, it seems like. But a really good lineup of American Airlines mainline aircraft and good lighting. Let's get started. 737-800 is currently coming in from Dallas, now heading over to Phoenix. Let me get this A319 right here before we pass it. Uh, heading over to San Antonio after coming in from Austin. Sorry, the sun's so bright I can't see, but I'm doing my best. Uh, Airbus E320 is coming in from Myrtle Beach, now heading on over, excuse me, to um, that one creator's Fort Myers. And the TWA Boeing 737 800s heading over to St. Louis after coming in from Calgary. Let me move down a little bit. And then we have uh, a series of Airbus aircraft and F737. Uh, Airbus E320 coming in for Washington National, now heading over to Nashville. 737, I wish the stupid camera would focus. I don't know, I guess I dropped it a while back and just won't focus without me tapping it. Excuse me. 737-800 coming in from Denver, now heading over to Boston. And the Airbus E320 is coming in right now from Tampa and now heading over to uh, Fort Lauderdale. This Airbus E319 sacking into the ramp after coming in from, uh, let's see here, trying to get some more Southwest routes, uh, American routes, I'm so sorry. Um, 
San Antonio, and now it's going to be making a service. I need more American mainline routes, to be honest, on this sheet. Uh, Tucson, and this Boeing 77-9 is currently coming in from Skyliz Airport, and now we'll be heading back out there. And the 737 MAX is currently coming in from New York and Bordia, and that's a turnaround in the Boeing 777-300ER is currently coming in from um, London Heathrow and heading over to Hong Kong next. Okay, apologies that it's a little bit shaded off over here, but we got it rolling. This American Eagle CRJ-900 is currently making a non-stop service day uh, for PSA coming in from, let's see here, Omaha and now it's heading over to El Paso. The Ember 175 is coming in from Destin uh, for Envoy, now heading over to Providence. Empty gate. The Piedmont 145 is coming in from, uh, let's see, Sioux Falls and now heading over to Bozeman. Bosman, Bozeman. PSA CRD-900 coming in from Norfolk and now we'll be heading over to Savannah. Ember 175 coming in from San Diego and now it's heading over to Reno. CRD-200 currently coming in from P P Pittsburgh, I'm sorry. Now heading over to Atlanta. Envoy 175 coming in from Detroit, now over to Milwaukee. Uh, this 145 from Piedmont's coming in from Atlantic City and now it's gonna be making a service over to uh, Lexington and this 175 for uh, Republic is coming in from Hilton Head and now it's gonna be making service over to uh, Charleston this Sierra D-900 is coming in from Midland and now it's gonna be making service for PSA to Dayton Ohio and lastly the Sierra D-700 is coming in right now from uh, Texandria and now it's gonna Texandria sorry I can't say it very well and now it's gonna be heading over to next uh, to um, Rapid City, kind of getting the last fall bit out of those seasonal routes. Air to TV Nui, Airbus E340-300 coming in from Skyliz Airport, of course. And this American Airlines Airbus E320, sorry, I didn't mean to get it back, but I forgot we had a couple over here. Uh, it's currently coming in right now from Austin on a turnaround. And the FedEx Express Boeing 757-200 is heading over to, um, let's see, Los Angeles, changing it up a little bit for FedEx. Yes, I finally got Skyliz American Airlines Airbus E321 Neo to her airport, so coming in from there, now heading over to Phoenix. I don't know why those missed the last couple updates, so sorry about that. And this Airbus E321 is currently coming in from, <clears throat> excuse me, Las Vegas on a turnaround. And the America West E319 is heading over to Seattle on a turnaround. So a couple turnarounds consecutive there. American Airlines 737-800 logo on the winglet coming in from Dallas-Fort Worth, and now it's gonna be heading over to Miami. And this Airbus E320 is currently coming in from um, Fort Lauderdale, and now it's gonna be heading over to Houston. And this Airbus E319 is currently making a service in from Cincinnati, and now it's gonna be heading over to Jacksonville. And this Airbus E321 is coming in from New York John Kennedy, and now it's gonna be heading over to Denver next. And the 737 Max E is currently coming in from New York uh, John Kennedy on a turnaround. And the Alaska Airlines Airbus E321 Neo is going to be our Los Angeles flight today. How about that? Turnaround service. And the Alaska 175 over there is heading over to Seattle Everett. Really cool route on the Horizon Retro and came in earlier today from, uh, excuse me, came in earlier today from Las Vegas, also a new Alaska service. American Airlines One World 737-800. That's what happens when you hold the camera with one hand, so apologies. Uh, this aircraft's currently coming in from, sorry, I'm checking over on the light over there to see what kind of pace we need to go at, but we're going at a good pace right now. Washington Dulles, and now it's gonna head over to Las Vegas. Let's see where our next aircraft is, there it is. The American Airlines 77-8 is currently making a non-stop service day. Coming in, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any major big cities that I'm missing, I'm sure there's plenty of them. Um, let's see. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of what I'm missing here. I know I'm missing some, but I can't think of them. Um, I'm completely blank. Uh, maintenance flight in from Tulsa. Sorry, I com went completely blank on that aircraft. Uh, and then this CRJ 550, Knoxville inbound, now out to Nashville. Same in Tennessee with that one. Let's go get our cargoes. The UPS Boeing 757-200 is coming in from Dallas-Fort Worth, and now it's heading over out east to Greensboro. The FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter is coming in from Skyliz Airport, now heading over to FX Aviation Airport. The McDonald's Doves MD-11 freighter is coming in from Memphis and now we'll be heading back out there. Uh, I completely forgot, that was like the only plane I forgot to get my UPS 747 out, but that's where Louisville would be, so apologies on that. 
Cargo Lux, Boeing 747-8 Freighter is a Luxembourg turn. Love the interactive series. Uh, Polar, DHL Hybrid 767-300 Freighter. It's going to be changing up today, heading over to Los Angeles. And then Prime's going to be going over the Phoenix, so really changing it up with those two. And the DHL in a uh, Kalita 727 and 737 backwards. Um, uh, both those are doing their respective Cincinnati flights. They couldn't all quite change up because Cincinnati has to be served or um, something's terribly wrong. So looking good with those aircraft. We're going to let the light keep creeping as, as you can see, it's much better than what it was in the August update, uh, even though I filmed that yesterday as the time of recording. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and record September. I didn't really want to, so I could get some new models in here by new time-wise, efficiency-wise, that I would really appreciate it later on when the college semester got busy. And I know that I probably will be very busy during that time. So I thought this would be pretty well, uh, a good opportunity to do this. Okay, so we have a um, Learjet 45. Uh, this aircraft's currently making the service coming in from, uh, this is the International FBO, I'm gonna call it right here. So this aircraft's coming in from St. Martin and now it's gonna be making a service uh, domestically to Teesbrook, T Bro, oh my gosh, can't talk. And the World Atlantic MD-80 is currently making a non-stop service in from Skyly's airport. I don't think I got this American 175, so this aircraft's taxiing in from Oklahoma City, and now it's gonna head over to um, uh, Albuquerque. Okay, I'm going to grab my chair so I can actually have a decent camera because the camera's been pretty bad so far, so let's uh stabilize i apologize about the chemo intervals as well they've hung around a little bit longer than what they typically do here in the summer even though it's september at this point and not as many chemo intervals it would be hanging around so apologies for that shooting in though here we go with our delta lineup hopefully we get some light on it uh starting down there we have a delta airlines 737 900er sarah coming in from salt lake city and now it's going to be heading over to detroit two sky teams in the same frame honestly pretty cool um so we have a Delta Airlines 757-200 and Sky Team Delivery coming in from Atlanta, and now it's gonna be heading over to Tampa. Uh, we have a A220-300. This aircraft's coming in from Las Vegas, and now it's heading over to Orange County. And then we have the Delta Sky Team 737-800 loading up with service today over to Pensacola after coming in earlier today from Boston. Taxiing into the gate, we have this Delta Airlines 757-200. This aircraft's coming in. Uh, trying to think of any 757 routes that would be really solid. Um, Baltimore and now it's going to be making the service day over to Chicago here and we have our beautiful lineup of regional jets so the CRJ 700 is going to be heading over to Elmira after coming in from Syracuse uh, the second CRJ-700 is going to be heading over to Albany after coming in from Rochester uh, that CRJ-900 coming in from Hartford Connecticut now heading over to Providence pushback we got a CRJ-200 heading over to Flint Michigan after coming in earlier today from uh, Louisville and the CRJ-900 is currently heading over to um, Knoxville after coming in from um, Birmingham. I thought I'd change it up and add quite a few Northeast destinations. Uh, that CRJ-200 texting out for departure with service over to, um, let's see here, for this Delta is gonna be uh, Tyler, Texas and came in earlier today from Fort Smith. I think they still operate there, they should be. I need to double check on that. And this Ember 170, um, interesting nose shape on that one for Herpa. Uh, is coming in right now from goodness rapid fire today um let's see here traverse city and now it's going to be making a service over to uh uh, uh fargo okay terminal c let's get started i also have one aircraft that i want to pan back up for when the light breaks out so you can see it from this angle because it's really nice Southwest Lone Star 1737-700 is coming in from um, Boston, and now it's going to be heading over to Philadelphia. This 737-700 in the heart, uh, Canyon Blue livery with blended winglets is currently heading over to um, San Diego and came in from Tulsa. This 737-700 is loading up with service over to, uh, let's see here. Let me just go ahead and get the sheet. I was going to try to come up with some, but it's been that kind of day. Um, Houston Hobby, and now it's going to be heading over to uh, Milwaukee. 737-800, oh, stupid jet bridge. 737-800 right here is heading over to Los Angeles, came in from Denver. 737-800 is coming in from Oakland, and now it's going to be heading over to San Jose. Tennessee 1737-800 coming in from Nashville, ironically enough, and now it's going to be heading over to Columbus. 737-700 is coming in from, excuse me, 
DCA, and now it's going to be heading over to um, Amarillo. And this Max 8 is currently coming in from Burbank, and now it's going to be heading over to uh, Jacksonville. 737 800 Heart 1 is going to be coming in from uh, Islip, and now it's heading over to uh, Pensacola. Uh, okay, I got to show off that aircraft over there. South African Airways Airbus E350 900 blasting into the sky. Sorry that 9X isn't quite doing the job, but it's a beautiful plane over there. Uh, heading over to Johannesburg. Beautiful. And yes, the light's flowing in there beautifully, so that's what we love to see. Freedom 1 737 heading over to Washington Dulles after coming in from uh, Dallas Love Field. 737 MAX 8 heading over to FX Aviations Airport after coming in from so many routes. Oh my gosh. San Diego. And this 737-700 This currently making a service in from Austin and now it's going to be heading over to San Francisco. Colorado 101 737-700 is currently making a service in. Um, and there goes two jet bridges over here. Trying to be careful with it all, but sometimes it just doesn't happen uh, the way you want it to. Uh, this 737-700 though is currently coming in from New Orleans and now it's going to be heading over to San Antonio. Uh, that one also knocked over at some point, so apologies. But that Southwest 737-700. There we go. It's currently coming in from um, Atlanta, and now it's going to be heading over to San Jose, California. And the Sun Country 737-800 is taxing in from Cancun after coming in earlier today from uh, Puerto Vallarta coming in right now. Now we're taxiing out uh, later here for Puerto Vallarta. Okay, that was a cool frame right there. Yes, there we go. So we have a Southwest 737-800 coming in from West Palm Beach, now heading over to um, Chicago O'Hare. 737-700 pushing back, service over to Denver after coming in from uh, Indianapolis. And the 737 max in Canyon Blue livery all the way back there in the back. Coming in from um, Palm Springs, and now it's gonna be making the service uh, right now over to Chicago Midway. And two final Southwest aircraft. We have a 737-700 coming in from Orlando, now heading over to Tucson, and the 737-800 pulling into the gate, coming in from Sacramento, and now it's gonna be heading over to uh, St. Louis. Two Allegiant aircraft. We have an Airbus E320 coming in from uh, Orlando Sanford, and now it's gonna be heading over to St. Petersburg. And the Airbus E320 with Sarkis coming in from FX Aviations Airport. Breeze Airways, Airways E220-300 coming in right now from Providence. New route, very cool to see that one. And now it's gonna be continuing over to Los Angeles. Also new route for Breeze, so congratulations to Breeze on continuing to be a Breeze, no pun intended. And then, let me get the focus. We have a Breeze Airways, Airbus, or sorry, Ember ERJ-195 coming in from Charleston, now heading over to Tampa. India Velo 737-800 coming in on new route from Raleigh Durham, how about that? So, non-stop service there on a turnaround. Okay, we got two Spirit aircraft. We have an Airbus E319 coming in from Newark, now heading over to Dallas, Fort Worth. And an Airbus E321 coming in from Houston, and now it's heading over to Minneapolis. Sun Country Boeing 737-800. This aircraft's coming in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, in the Cancun service uh, in, in August for the seasonal service, so it's a okay. And we have Spirit Airbus E321 taxiing out for the departure service over to Atlanta. Southwest Airlines 737-800, uh, Max 8 I should say, in the desert livery, holding short service over to Dallas Love Field after coming in from, I think I've used every one of these routes. Uh, Oakland, I don't think I've used Oakland, so there we go, finally, but healthy Southwest offerings to say the least. Jeff Lou, Ember Ear J190, heading over to Fort Lauderdale today after coming in from Newark. And this Airbus E320 is currently coming in from, uh, let's see, Los Angeles, and now it's gonna be heading over to New York, John Kennedy. Uh, Frontier Airbus E320 Neewa, Wilbert the Whitetail coming in from Syracuse, and now it's going to be heading over to Salt Lake City. And we have Cincinnati and Fort Myers for Colorado the Bighorn Sheep. Hawaiian Airbus E3200 heading over to Skyways Airport after coming in from uh, Honolulu. And a tipped over silver ATR doing its typical Birmingham, Jacksonville, uh, Tampa route, which is very cool. And we have a Thenum 300 taxing out for departure service over to Tulsa after coming in today from Boston. JSX Ember Ear J145 heading over to Dallas Love Field. 
and the uh, PC12 right there is that ply disc is currently making the EAS service to Lincoln, Nebraska for boutique. Uh, Challenger 300 coming in from Las Vegas, now heading over to Denver Centennial. Uh, Learjet 75 coming in from Wichita, and now it's gonna be heading over to Little Rock. And we have two Cessna 172s, the left one is coming in uh, from downtown airport, Kansas City, and now it's uh, doing a local flight after that, and the red one's been doing a local flight the whole time, and apologies about the complete zoom out right there. Finnair, Urbis E350-900 on short final 33 right, service in from Helsinki. Air Canada, CRD-705, coming in from Toronto, and now it's gonna be heading over. I'm just trying to be efficient, guys. I'm not trying to um, act like I'm going fast. I, I just know that these videos can run really long sometimes, so just trying to be efficient. Uh, Ottawa. Uh, I'm so sorry about the 2E. Um, I might just leave it there just for the memes. Uh, Spirit Airbus E320, uh, currently coming in from Fort Myers after coming in from Tampa. Heading over to Fort Myers to say. WestJet 737-700, uh, taxiing out service out into Calgary. Turn around. And Velars Airbus E320 Neo is coming in from Cosmo. Yeah, Cosmo would be good for different. Envoy Retro 170 heading over to Milwaukee after coming in from uh, Fayetteville. And the uh, Learjet 75 is currently uh, coming in over here after a flight from La... I'm trying to think of just some new routes. Colorado Springs and now it's going to be heading over to Stillwater, Oklahoma. Changing up a little bit. Flagship Valor American Airlines which is E321 holding short of the runway. It's aircraft serving um, Las Vegas after coming in from Nashville. And then we have the beautiful 777-200ER for American Airlines. Aircraft heading over to Denver on a really nice up gauge right there uh, from the A321. Uh, they oversold bad. If you can't sell, they just kind of let tickets keep selling. And then they got on 777 and came in earlier today from um, Orlando. Alrighty, we have a really nice lineup right here of heavy aircraft that... Um, are currently on the remote stand. So we have Air India Boeing 777-300ER going to be heading over to New Delhi here in a little bit. KLM Boeing 777-300ER heading over to Amsterdam here in a bit. Air Premium Boeing 77-900 heading over to Skydiz Airport, of course. That's what we love to see. In the Lutonza Airbus E340-300 uh, aircrafts heading over to Frankfurt for that one creator, uh, 128's airport. And the two is not supposed to be there. I apologize. I tried to get all the aircraft off, uh, but sometimes it just doesn't work that way. So yeah, the two is hanging out over there and it's looking great regardless. Let me move back the table because the lighting is spilling in beautifully. Let's see if we can do this without taking down the jet bridges, but the airport's gonna be coming down uh, anyway after this. So if they do come down, I'm not gonna make too big of a fuss about it. I uh, only got three down so far. I think we're only gonna get about three down. That's really not too bad. Not bad. Let me see if I can squeeze in here. Sorry about the cumulus intervals. Uh, they've been kind of acting really funky and I hit the table and that took two more gates with it. But uh, <laughs> I sometimes I just want to absolutely flip that table. I hate how stiff it is. But nevertheless, what can I say? Model airport problems, real, real world problems, excuse me. That would be the better phrase. Um, so we're gonna sit here and talk until the lighting comes back. So uh, Terminal D, of course, uh, was one of the um, second facilities built with Terminal C in 2015. Been a great facility here at Great Plains. Really enjoyed catching up with it. Oh, we had the bridge here with E380 right here, taking off service over to London, rotating beautifully right there. And this is Air Mexico 737 E100 coming in from Mexico City, and now it's gonna be heading back out there. And then down here, we have a Copa 737-800. This aircraft's currently coming in right now from Panama City, and now it's heading back out there as well. And I'm keep gonna keep waiting on the light. I'll kind of, I'll pause if I have to, but my goal is the bit has been to do one Great Plains update and one full clip. And uh, I'm trying to do that right now, but the lighting is um, not really cooperating, but I can't cut it. I have to make it through this video. I'm like, been trying to do it and it's not happened. So I'm really hopeful this will be the day. Um, these will also be nicely lit. So that's why I'm kind of waiting, but I think that everything that we could do can be in good lighting. So that's why I'm currently waiting for the lighting to improve. Um, but yeah, great plans. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I hope to get some more expansions. In the next update, we should have the uh, another new mat. So be on the lookout for that. That's super exciting, along with hopefully some new renovations and whatnot. So looking forward to doing that and certainly open to any advice, but it'll be the Tulsa mat and I'll kind of hint at that in the Tulsa updates. Word suggestions for it for great plans. So um, I was not planning to talk for three hours until the light breaks out. Uh, I guess we can check in on it. Uh, let's see. It's that interval right there. So that's the victim. It looks like it's moving off. I can't tell if it's hovering or moving off, but it should be um, 
hovering off here at some point. I really hate to cut the clip because I really want to make it a full clip without um, terminating uh, so that for whatever reason, lighting dinner, whatever. So I'm patiently waiting and I'm hopeful that it comes back. Um, come on. It's super close. Let's at least get in position and get ready because it should be coming anytime. There we go. I see it. Here it comes. Uh, say, uh, for Gull, I forgot to look up their uh, hub again, so I apologize. This will be the last update. I'll have that fixed for next update. Yeah, it's super close, man. It's literally about to break out. I can see it halfway down the yard, so it's going to be breaking out anytime. Uh, beautiful aircraft, though. Come on. Appreciate your patience, by the way. Uh, the lighting will make up for it, I promise. I'm patiently waiting. It's like the last interval there, too. But once this one's gone, we should be in good shape. Come on, I can see it all down there on the yard. It's literally shining on the yard. There, there we go. That's what we love to see. Give me a little bit more break on that sun. Absolutely fantastic. Not too much more to say for that aircraft. Cayman Airways, Boeing 737 Maxi. I think it's uh, the Cayman Islands where this goes to, but I can't remember the city off the top of my head. Georgetown, I think it's Georgetown. That's gotta be it. So this aircraft sent over to Georgetown. There we go, finally thought of it. Took several updates, but we did. The Caribbean Airlines, Boeing 737 MAX 8, is heading over to Skies Airport on turnaround, of course. Sorry, that's kind of angled right there. And the Aero Mexico Connect, Ember 190, is kind of heading over to um, Guadalajara. Okay, so the Spirit, or sorry, where, where did Spirit come from? I don't know where Spirit came from. I really don't. I'm sorry. It's been one of those days. Volaris, or uh, we uh, are not to Volaris yet. Viva Aerobus Airbus E320 with Shark Butts heading over to Monterey. There's Volaris Airbus E320 coming in from uh, Mexico City. Now heading back out there. I don't know why, but it seems unlevel on my side on the camera when I leave it down like this, but when I prop it up, it looks better. So I don't know why that is. It shouldn't be uneven to the gates, but it is. Swoop Boeing 737-800. This actually, I think is gonna be their last update. Heading over to, um, Halifax on a turnaround. That's what we love to see. And the Sunwing 737-800, of course, coming in from Toronto. Glad to see that back in today's airport update. WestJet Boeing 737-800. Uh, this aircraft's heading over to uh, Vancouver today. Very nice route. And the Air Canada Boeing 737 MAX 8 is heading over to, um, where are we going to with this aircraft? Um, Vancouver as well in the competition. And the Airbus E220-300 um, heading over to, um, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anywhere blaringly obvious for these carriers. Um, Edmonton, yeah, we need Edmonton, it's been a while. Okay, Air Canada, uh, let's see. Boeing 787-9 is currently heading over to Toronto, of course. And we have the Aer Lingus Airbus E321 Neo uh, back from its regular gate from the last update heading over to Dublin, Ireland. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get these aircraft taxi and then I'll go around to the other side to give us a nice conclusion today. Air Canada, see your, or, we are finished with Air Canada. I'm starving, I apologize. American Eagle, Sierra Day 700, uh, aircraft's heading over to, uh, let's see, I'm, he's, I, we've went over so many American Airlines planes. Um, Louisville, after coming in from uh, Me Minneapolis, Memphis would have been a good one. United Airlines 737, 800, holding short down here, just to give us some variety. Aircraft's heading over to um, Dallas, Fort Worth, after coming in from JFK, uh, they don't fly JFK, uh, LaGuardia. Amerijet 757-200 heading over to uh, Miami today. UPS McDonald's MD-11 freighters heading over to Louisville. American Airlines Airbus E321 with fence tips heading over to Charlotte after coming in from there, a little turnaround action. American Airlines Airbus E319 is taxing out with service over to uh, Eagle County Regional Airport, another nice new round of the 319S. United 175 is currently taxing with service over to um, Salt Lake City. And American Airlines 737-800 heading over to DCA on a turnaround. And the Envoy 175 down there is coming in from uh, Austin and now it's gonna be heading over to um, Melbourne, Florida. There we go. And there's a better view of the South African Airways A350. Gotta get a good view of that. There we go, absolutely love that effort. What a beautiful plane. And we have some beautiful lighting to finish out today's airport update on our beautiful heavy. So let's take a look at all of these. There we go. Okay, Lutanza Boeing 787-9 heading over to uh, Munich. Beautiful plane. a, &A Boeing 787-9 in the R2-D2 Star Wars livery is heading over to uh, Skyliz Airport after coming in from Tokyo. 
Just stunning planes, man. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, Turkish Airlines Boeing 77-9 coming in from Istanbul, and now it's gonna be heading back out there. Korean Airlines Boeing 77-9 coming in from Skylies Airport, now heading over to Seoul, South Korea. Virgin Atlantic Boeing 77-9 making its first appearance in really good lighting, I believe. Uh, heading over to London Heathrow, of course. Really sick route, to be honest. Oh man, I'm glad that we're getting this in because I've just found that the anvil for the incoming thunderstorms is still a little ways out, but I think we picked just the right time for this update. So glad to get this in before that came in. And uh, yeah, really glad to get all these recorded. Uh, it sucks because obviously I won't be able to um, keep them as interactive as I want to be and along with new models and everything, but that'll make the new Great Plains updates uh, just like the June one that you guys saw previously. So much fun to look forward to because all the new models will be in them. Anyways, the Qatar Airbus E350-1000 is coming in in the One World Library from Doha. Awesome turnaround service right there. On our two frequencies still, they're keeping that into the uh, fall, which is awesome. Jal Boeing 77-9 is currently coming in right now from Tokyo, and now it's going to be heading back out there. Narita on that one. Uh, beautiful lighting, literally perfect lighting. I'd love to see that. Let me get the full wing in here. There we go. Uh, Road to Danium Boeing 77-8 in the uh, standard livery coming in from Amman, Jordan. Very cool to see that. Um, Air, uh, sorry, um, Road to Danium is a really cool carrier, so really glad to get them in the really good light. And I'll bounce back over for um, all the others, but I want to get the Emirates over here since it's pretty good. Heading over to Dubai. Sorry about the reflection. Holy crap. That's one big reflection, but nevertheless, heading over to Dubai. And last but certainly not least for today's airport update. Let me get this put over there. We have two more and British Airways trying to skirt off the runway. We have the China Southern Airbus E380 heading over to CAN after coming in from Skyly's airport. Make sure it's focused. There we go. And the Iceland Air Boeing 7200 Hecla Royal. I'm sorry, I'm just obsessed with that plane. So nice coming in from Reykjavik, Keklavik to round out today's airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, definitely one of the shorter ones. Uh, I didn't want to accelerate it too much, but I know 37 minutes is still a ton of time even at that. So at this point, I'm just going to push over the table and if whatever falls, falls uh, with holding it, the camera in one hand. Honestly, nothing fell. That's really surprising. But yeah, I wish I could keep this airport out all the time. I love looking at it. It's so much fun with all those various international carriers. And obviously the new Turnable B looks great and so on and so forth. Oh, there's the Anvil. We barely made this update. Barely got it. Oh, let me get one more thumbnail. I love when the back Turnable's lit like that. Uh, let's see. Hopefully that will be good. Sorry about all the shenanigans in this update, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, beautiful airport. Really, really glad to see the progress, and I'm really excited to see what's to come with it in the near future, and I hope you guys are as well. But with all that being said, that'll do for today's video, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Jojo Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Jojo Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Jojo Aviation is signing off.